Hello, I'm Tatecap. Welcome to my channel. Today we are playing Ace Academy. Previously, after going to the manga store with Mayu and hanging out with all the super attractive people and whatnot, we run into Mei, who was there for the super attractive people. And we had an interview with someone from Dasho, whatever it's called. Dashu, Dasho, whatever. And um, learned about our team at CINY. And then we had a practice match with Kaori, who's kind of sucking a lot. And that is where we left off. We head back into our gears and load up another simulation match. Kaori's more focused than before and no longer making such rash decisions. Ultimately, we end up getting a solid training session from our duels. Before long, it becomes late and we say our goodbyes before heading home. As I enter the house, I hear soft giggles coming from the living room. A tuft of blonde hair peeks over the couch. Another wave of giggles floods from the couch, but ceases abruptly as I step closer. Nikki hangs up the phone and turns around to greet me. Hi, big bro. I plop down next to her. What was... Who was that guy? Her eyes grow wide. How did you know it was a guy? Who else could it be? You just told me. Just stare at her. I continue to look at her. What? Do I really need to answer that? So, who was it? No one. Doesn't sound like no one. He's just a classmate! I reach around and grab Nikki's phone while she's distracted. <gasps> no! Give it back! She screams in my ear as she leaps over me, reaching towards her phone. I fend off I fend her off and keep the phone away from her. Grasping hands as she continues to struggle. I warm I worm my way off of the couch and slip through and flip through the call list before she can scramble to her feet. The last dialed number is to a kin. What kind of weird Japanese name is kin? I mean, I didn't know that it was that unpopular. It's Ken, right? Yeah, it's Ken. And I was like, am I just seeing it wrong? Nikki snatches the phone right as I speak. Then pummels my chest with her fist. Oh my god, you are such a jerk! Is he even re is he even a real person? Of course he is. But his name is Ken. <laughs> You're the worst. We kind of deserve that. She hits me hard one last time before turning on her heel and storming upstairs. When she's halfway to the top, she pauses. And by the way. Ken means strong in Japanese. Nikki stomps into her room and slams the door. Yeah, I was like, why is Ken and and weird Japanese name? 
Oh yeah. Oops. Still, Ken. <laughs> I hear laughter. Is that me? Did I just laugh out loud? Kaito is leaning against the doorway behind me. A broad smile on his face. I jump when I see him. First, Sakira, and now Kaito. How is everyone always sneaking up on me? <laughs> That's good. Ken is a funny name. It's like... Yen! <laughs> yeah, but it's Yen, not Yen. He continues laughing at his joke, then gradually calms down. Why does your face look like that? Like what? I always look like this. No, like this. He mimics a look of cringing and disbelief. I don't... What? I should go do my homework. Good idea. Get smart. I'm already smart. I slowly head towards the stairs, still unsure about what just happened. As I walk up the steps, I can still hear faint chuckles from Kaito and the echoes of Kin Yen. Since I was already in my room, I caught up on the studying until it was time for sleep. I wake up energized and throw off the blankets. Today is our match against Onabagisha. And I'm looking forward to it. I run through my morning routine, thinking up strategies in my head, then try to refocus as I finish my breakfast. I still have a class to attend before my match. I grab my bag and hop on my bike. There is an unexpectedly heavy amount of traffic this morning and I rushed to class right on time. That was a little too close for comfort. As I settle in my seat, the professor clears his throat, beginning the lesson. Good morning, class. For today's lesson, we will discuss the differences between energy and kinetic weapons. Sounds interesting. Yep, yeah, we'll listen to it. Sounds interesting. Let's first review the two defensive mechanisms of a gear. The sh I'm sorry I cut you off. <laughs> Let's first review the two defensive mechanisms of a gear. The shield and hull. Okay. The hull is the physical gear. The shield is a virtually invisible barrier generated by using the core's energy. The strength of the shield varies greatly depending on the core, shield generator, and power allocation settings. Energy and kinetic weapons are meant to target opposite defenses. Energy-based arsenals are effective against shields as they quickly drain shield energy. But because of that, they are weak at penetrating the hull. Alternatively, kinetic weaponry is designed to puncture the armor, but they are weak against shields as the kinetic energy gets dispersed over a large surface area, the entire shield. For the purpose of war games and recreational use, only energy weapons are permitted. A gear is considered destroyed when it is depowered. Of course, outside of recreational combat, this rule does not apply. A student raises his hand. What about hybrid weapons? Ah, yes. 
hybrid weapons are able to equally damage both the shield and hull. However, their damage strength is not as effective as a singular purpose weapon. This student nods in acknowledgement. Please turn to page 233 and let's take a look at the different types of energy weapons. I flip to the page the professor mentions and continue listening to the lesson. Cool, now I know. That's all for today. Please make sure you have all completed your web link assignments for next class. I pack my things and head to the hangar to meet up with my team. Our match is scheduled earlier than usual and we need to rethink our strategy. The plan we discussed had already revealed revolved around our match against Strike X, but now that they're disqualified, we have to come up with a new ones with new ones again against our new opponent. Question You've known this was happening for a while, and you've known who your opponent was for a while. Why didn't you come up with strategies before the day of the match? It just seems a bit rushed. I enter the hangar, and I look for Aura. When I arrive, everyone is already there. Shell waves. Rosa? Hey. Hi. Cardi greets me with a nod. Good. We're all here. Let's head to the pre-combat room and start planning out strategies. Hey! May. May. Why? Why are you just messing with Cardi's head at this point? You collectively turn at the sound of May's voice. She waves and beams at us as she runs closer. What are you doing here, May? Cardi sounds less than amused. I wanted to wish you all good luck. I'm so excited for our match. Me too. Mayu smiles and nods. Let's give it our best. Who needs luck? when you're this good. Stay quiet gets us nowhere ever, so. Good luck to you guys, too. We won't hold back. Hey, smile. We won't either. As quickly as she arrived, she's gone in a flash. She's so nice. I'm totally feeding off of her enthusiasm. I'm getting a better vibe off of this match, too, than the one off of Strike X. No! See, now Cardi is just irritated. Shell blinks at Cardi's outburst. No? She's just putting on an act. She was trying to psych us out. Don't fall for it! I don't think that was her goal. You guys don't know her like I do. You can't trust her. Especially when she's acting all friendly like that. Cardi's been acting strange. More so than usual when May is involved. Anyways, let's go strategize while we have some time. She doesn't wait for us to answer and begins to begins power walking towards the pre-combat rooms. Hey, wait for us! We jog to catch up and follow her. After a quick change into our pilot suits, we meet in the hangar. Hollow desk. Hollow desk. I just assume it's hangar all the time. So we know... Emerald Aura, what is my used gear's name? Cardi sets up the match. A few minutes later, the holodesk projects the arena and the gears involved in the fight. Alright, so what's the deal? 
Onna Bugiesha is a melee-only team. It will be important to pay attention to our positioning and maintain a safe distance. I still think it should be Bugiesha. <laughs> That's clearly Geisha! We have... Uh, brain broke for a second. We've had a close combat teams in the past. Claw of the Wild comes to mind from a few weeks ago. Yeah, but his strategy was basically just charge forward, and so we we just took out his three little minions. Like, he was the boss character. I feel like everyone here is probably equally as good as each other. Mayu is focused on the hollow desk and takes a serious look. Tone. Claw of the Wild was a melee-centric team, but their gears were needed to perform a hybrid role. Based on Onabugesha's data, their gears are all custom tailored for high bursts of speed and close combat engagements. We would benefit greatly from keeping a distance. If we play defensively, it will force them to chase us, and we can wear them down before going on the offense. What do you think, Brosif? I mean, yeah, that's what you gotta do. Let's go for a Super Smash Melee book. Brawl. Oh no. We're going... Yeah. Agreed. Range is the key there. If they have no ranged weaponry, we should do as much damage from afar as we can. Whitt whittling them down before fully engaging will give us the advantage. Sounds good to me. Mayu and Coyote both nod. Okay, well, we can all go range, but Aura can't. The team looks at Coyote. I'll engage May head on and keep her out of the fight. That kind of goes against our plan. To my surprise, Coyote grits her teeth and bites back. A retort. Whoa, she's holding back a retort? She studies the holodesk for a, a little too long then sighs. I guess I don't have much of a choice. I'll hang back with you guys and intercept if one of the enemy gears manages to break through. Good job, Coyote. Are you not? I think that would be best. Okay, let's recap. We'll play it from a distance and keep baiting their team. Since Mayu is our best shot, we'll keep her well protected and follow her lead. Cardi looks right at me. She finally looks more focused than I've seen her all week. You and Sho can play aggressively if we take the lead. I will intercept whoever reaches Mayu, if they even manage to. Got it? We all nod. The tension is palpable. Even though Kaori is always serious, her tone is more aggressive than usual. We have a rare opportunity to really boost our MMR, and we can't throw this chance away. There's absolutely no way we can lose to Mei. I feel like this is personal, Kaori. That almost sounded like a threat. I nod a little on the uneasily and glare at Sho and Mayu and glance at Sho and Mayu whose faces mirror my thoughts. Coyote turns back to the hollow desk and uploads our plans as we wait in silence. A loud beep announces the match. I mutter under my breath. Saved by the be saved by the beep. Show and Mayu seem equally relieved. Just make sure you guys stay focused. 
Of course. Show forces enthusiasm into his voice, attempting to raise our morale. Coyote ignores him and show deflates. Let's go. Coyote, you're ruining our team with your attitude. And why do I feel like it's we're going to find out what happened and it's going to be something super high school and just make me go, that's the reason? <laughs> we enter the arena from one side while Onabugesha enters from the other. Welcome, everyone. Are you all ready for another fantastic match? The crowd erupts into a loud cheer. Good, because we have an amazing one lined up for you. Oda Bugesa versus 82049-11! We really need to come up with a team name. Everyone's comms are open as we await the sound off. May's team get into position and wait with relax confidence. I feel like our gears are way prettier than our opponent's gears at all times. Like, and look how colorful we are. As we also get into formation, the tension I felt from before intensifies. This no longer feels as friendly of a match as I thought it'd be. As soon as the sound off blares, May's team dashes straight towards us. A faint shimmer surrounding their gear reveals a hefty frontal shield. Mayu! On it! Mayu raises her gun and takes aim while the three of us position to protect her. A heavy sound flies into one of the... A heavy round flies into one of the gears in the distance. Although the shot connects, it disperses into a hexagon of shimmers. What? They're shields! They're tailored to deal with rail rounds. I need the shield to be weakened so that my shot can penetrate and force an immediate to power. Affirmative. I'll stay back and protect. You two go aggressive and focus on knocking out their shield. Let's go. Roger that. Switching to EMP rounds now. Show and I boost forward, spraying a hail of energy rounds. The enemy team takes evasive maneuvers. May breaks away while the others three continue racing towards Mayu. The closest energy the closest enemy gear takes the brunt of the damage and is front barrier drops. Mayu takes advantage of the vulnerability and aims a shot at the gear, instantly depowering it. Nice! One down! I have two of them approaching me. Cowdy? Cowdy! Damn it, Cowdy. Aura has already left her position and sprints away and sprints towards me. I thought she was all 
we have to follow the plans, yada yada yada. And now look at her being a dumbass. What are you doing? You have to protect Mayu! I am! I'm taking out May so she can't attack! <sighs> that wasn't the plan! You two cover her! We're not in position to! <sighs> She's already engaged! Let's go! Show and I boost back to Mayu, but it's too late. I've been depowered. Her voice is lethally calm. This can't be good. The two enemy gears shift to show and I. Two on two, but not much distance. Play this out carefully. For once, show is serious. The gears split their focus, and one of them charges towards me. Towards me, me. Well, <laughs> the other boosts towards show. I boost away and take aim. Freeze, hit, fire. My aim is true and a blast of energy rounds collide with her gear. She stumbles back from the hit while I create more distance between us. Before she can strike again, I move away to create more distance between us. I think I just read that. I raise my gun for another shot. It's slow, fail, fire. She tries to dodge, but is too slow, and my shots pellet her. Shield. She's pushed back from the force of the blow, but once she gets her bearings, she boosts right back towards me. As she approaches, I boost away from her and weave through, weave around and the arena forcing her to chase me. I steady my aim, shoot! I win! Yay! She's too slow to dodge and my shot strikes right through her shield. Her gear can't support the hit and she's depowered. I look over at Sho just in time to see an enemy gear strike. Watch out! I boost closer and shoot again. The round connects with the gear just as her attack connects with Sho. Sho blocks just a second too late and he's depowered, but because she wasn't expecting my attack, she's left herself vulnerable and is also depowered. May is the only remaining enemy gear. One more gear and the match is ours! On it. I boost towards Cowardy and May who are locked in a duel. Watch we attack Mei and then Cowardly gets pissed off because we took out Mei and she didn't get to do it. Aura strikes with vigor but is parried. Mei retaliates with a wide swing while Cowardly barely manages to block. I'm here. Don't interfere! See I knew it. Huh? What? What do you mean, don't interfere? Let me handle this! Cody! This isn't a simulation! It's a real match! Yeah, what you're saying! May is going down in a one-on-one. -on -one. She won't have any excuses this way! This is a team match! You can't put a win in jeopardy because you want to make this personal! What should I do? Don't interfere. 
Engage me. <laughs> It'll burst into action. What are you doing? Listen, already. <laughs> no. I'm not just going to sit here and let her take me out. Uh, strike, strike, fall. Wait, wait, wait. No, I gotta read all the things. Perry. Anticipating her swing, I sidestep using my thrusters and counterattack with my own blade. With no shield active on her back or my swing completely depowers her gear. Nice one! And she's going super pissed at us, but Joe's the only one to speak. Guys? Mayu and Cardi are both silent. Aura is or as she's her blade and exits the arena. Okay, out of curiosity. Now let's just save here. Out of curiosity, Guys? what would happen if I let Kyori fight? I cut Eagle's engine. What are you doing? <sighs> May notices my engine is off and she lunges towards Eagle. I keep eagle still. Here, so let's let uh the eagle burst into. What are you doing? Oh yeah, Cowardly gets mad. Okay, fine. Let's see. Let's just appease Cowardly for a second. I keep eagle still. I barely register or chasing after us. All I can see is May's blade ignited with energy. Her shield shimmers as it as it fades away. Swoosh. And one clean swing, I am depowered. Wait, May is the power too? Aura is still in her final stance, her blade extended. She must have hit Mei at the same time as me, as Mei hit me. She summoned all her remaining power into her final attack so she could go for a direct gear depower. Mei knew she wouldn't win two on one. She went for the safest points, which was the smartest play for their overall team. That wasn't subtle at all. Aura's blade lowers, but Cowardly doesn't speak. Sho and Mayu fall silent too. You know what? No, I like mine better. No. Okay. Eight, twenty, forty, nine, eleven are the winners. Congratulations. Okay. Well, um, in this episode here, yeah, this is a longer one than I meant it to be. Uh, we will see the the uh what happens with Cowardly because I didn't let her beat me <laughs> in the next episode. I'm Taylor Cat. If you haven't already liked, comment, subscribe. Have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon.